All right, and we are back. We're heading straight to trending. We've got a couple of hot trending stories for you. The first one is, yes, from our MBG, and that has to be our first trending story. Absolutely. Miss Abuja Oluchi, Madubike Crown, the most beautiful girl in Nigeria, of course. She's also the Miss, Niger Miss World Nigeria. And um, it was a really defining the crowning moment. Um, a lot of people were like, ah, some people said they obviously knew she was going to win, but I mean, it's really about... No, I don't, I don't think... It's, you... it's, it's really about what you have to offer in terms mm. of your brain, your intellect, and just the overall disposition. And it was really a beautiful show. I don't think it's a function of mm. what the viewer's choice is. I think it's a function, like you said, of what the judges must have seen in, in her throughout the journey of camp. And don't forget, it's... Uh, it's um, a couple of weeks type of, mm. you know, um, drilling uh, tutorial that he went yeah, through, yeah. you know, from camping to, to all that he did in camp, the dance. And, of course, the fact that, you know, that person also has to be an intellectual because you're also representing Nigeria in some mm. form, you mm -hmm. know. So um, I'm sure the judges saw all of this in her and decided, you know what, let's just crown her with the Miss World... Um, you know, crown, and and that is what she have done. Miss World Nigeria, don't forget, representing Nigeria, the Miss World Beauty Pageant, much later in the year. So, mm. uh, congratulations to her. But other queens emerge as well. Miss Universe, Miss uh, Tourism, Miss Echo, Echo Miss Supernatural. Supernatural. Yeah. All of these were chosen by the judges, who must have seen one or two qualities that stood mm -hmm. out for them. At the end of the day, um, we just want to support the queens and, and in their various endeavors. I've had a conversation with them on the radio this morning, and I must say, they are geared up to you know succeeding. They are geared up to doing a lot of things that will put them out there, put the brand out there, and they're very appreciative to the Silverbird Group for giving them the platform, the opportunity to be able to, to, shine be, to be able to shine, to be to be queens at the moment. And for the other thirty-seven who uh, didn't make it out, um, absolutely amazing stuff. Uh, Thirty-two, rather, uh, they are grateful as well and they're all winners like mm -hmm. i say they're yeah. all winners in their yeah, different definitely. sphere yeah cool like sophie so and it's uh what do you think of uh, the the most beautiful girl in nigeria and um the winner um the first day i saw her a charisma a character everything stood out mm. for the first day i saw her so i already knew that she was really different and when she won i saw it on saturday when she won i was like yes this is the first she thing. She really deserved it. So you were rooting for her from the first day. I mean, did you have any other favorites? Um, Miss Anna Brazo. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm so grateful that the both of them won. And the rest that contested too, they tried. Mm. Everybody's a winner too. And the fact that she won, she really stood out. She really stood out. And I pray she wins Miss Sword too. Well, you never can. There's always a breaking moment. A brand name Darago won in 2001, and that was it. If I cannot forget what she wore. I can't forget what she had on her head. I remember that picture. It's still very vivid in my memory. So um, it would be nice to really see someone, someone from Nigeria win again, mm. win the Miss World. It will bring the crown back to Nigeria for whatever for the good cause that it is. And the image has been in existence for 33 years, mm. you know, honestly. So this would definitely be a great one. And big congratulations to her again and to all the winners, to mm. all the winners, to Miss Supernational, to Miss ECOWAS, to everyone who participated in the competition was indeed. Can we get clips? Can we play clips from the most beautiful girl in Nigeria? We're going to still play another clip, so maybe like a brief clip, but if we cannot, we'll just go straight to our second trending story. There are a lot of things that trended over the weekend and, um, I think finally, you know, when two people fight and everybody puts their mouths, at the end of the day, when they reconcile, is it two people that talked about it that will now be like, why didn't I put my mouth in husband and wife? They say, don't put mouth in husband and wife. So apparently, it was Two Faces' birthday over the weekend. He put up a picture of Annie, so sweet. And of course, so she put up a picture. So from what we can see, they've reconciled, they sort out their differences, and all oh, they're talking. That's all of you have been talking. It's not a thing. So, Listen, yeah. I mean, it the conversations that mm -hmm. we had um, during the Bruhaha and the DBS family, uh, Two Faces family, it, it wasn't a function of we taking sides. It was a function of we not even wanting to see this marriage fall apart because these are two sweethearts who started from the early 90s when people like Sophia were not born. Uh, I knew she wasn't born then. No, you were not. She wasn't born then. Mm. I could guarantee Are you serious? That. I, I think so. <laughs> you know, so, but, but at the end of the day... Oh, Sophie's a millennial. Oh, she's she not is. a generation a Z. Yes, of oh, course. Okay, that's she's good. not that's a generation good. Z. Good. My she's bad. She's told My me bad. that she's a, gener a millennial, millennial, not generation Z. Oh, that's bad. That, no. that, that, that's great. Sophie, that's great. <laughs> I need that's to Did you shade Sophie on air? No, I did not. Anyway, but... You, I mean, you're a generation Z. You don't know. 
hello, let's focus on. Focus you don't on, know, TK. You are forming old man, but you don't just see. Should I tell on, them your age? Focus, no, focus on, focus on Andy. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, congratulations to uh, Two Face. Um, listen, couples fight. People married, married people fight. I mean, it's just the fact that we don't get to hear about it on social media, and and um, we want to be able to see that people resolve their problems mm -hmm. privately. Because when those problems were brewing, they were brewing pri they brewed fr privately, and not, I mean, none of us f could decipher what the problems were. But you know, putting it on our social media was just something that killed it. And, and we're happy that they are back. I mean, Sophie was telling me the other day that she's excited that Two Face and Annie are back together, mm -hmm. right. and how she wants uh, the marriage to work. I mean, that that's what people generally feel about uh, Two Face and and his brand. And yeah. you know, I'm sure she has something to say yeah, about I'm sure that. Yeah, you well. do. Like um, Charlie said before. Um, when two couples are fighting, you don't have to put your money in because when you definitely when they settle, you look mm. like the bad person. I like the fact that when she came online and she was ranting and everything, it didn't say anything. The only thing you wrote was appealing. my family business. Yeah, appealing so to people, people to then, keep so their mouths away sure. from, yeah. And it was so mature enough to make sure that, okay, it settled with her and these things didn't come out. Didn't come up again. And I know she was really bitter. She was angry. That's why she wrote those things. She might not mean them from my heart, but it's really, really, really awesome that they've settled back. At least our powerful yes. couple is back together. Yeah, well, whatever, moving forward, like you said, well, whatever they need to do, let them do it in silence. If she's angry, let her go to the family members. WhatsApp, just put it in the WhatsApp group of your family chat. I'm angry with Innocent Idibia. Please oh, help me just before I let loose on social media. Or she call a friend. Just drop her phone somewhere so she doesn't write something else on it. She has forgiven her husband. So many people will not even forgive the guy. Yeah. What That's I do, thing. I know it's different. Once I'm angry, I'm angry at someone, I'm angry at a situation, I, I have friends that I quickly chat. This is what I'm feeling. So they just tell you, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Don't do anything irrational. How so, do people chat to you? How do you express your anger via chat? I, that's the best you know, I, way. It, uh, I put subliminals on be Instagram. I'm so angry that I can't even type. I, so that's what I do. So if I talk to someone, I gain clarity of the situation. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So when you talk to someone, you're able, if not, you will do one crazy thing. So person just calm down, calm down, calm down. What is the situation? How do you intend to handle it? How can I give you advice? Or so that's what to do. Or call know. someone. Or put it on the family chats. I'm just angry with two face. <laughs> it did be, and I'm going to kill him. It will Someone help to come. <laughs> Rats is depressing. Instead of okay. you going on social media and start typing. All right. kind of doesn't forget, actually. Yeah, you're correct, Sophie. Very. Let's move on to the next trend story. So, Bonner Boy is saying, I wouldn't release an album till further notice. Well, Bonner Boy, we're fine. Even if you don't release an album. We're cool. The other people releasing albums. So, we don't let us feel like we have to beg you for an album. Nah, even though you I give mean, us a Grammy album. I, I think I understand what he's trying to say. Mm. But the thing is... It's that Jay-Z feel where, mm. remember when Jay-Z had done everything and said, you know what, I'm retiring. <laughs> and after like two months, he came back and like, oh boy, retirement <laughs> is not for me. But yeah, well, like you said, he might be out for a while. So the f so that he fans, because there are people who are diehard Burner Boy fans. And by the time they wait like one month, Burner Boy hasn't dropped anything. They are now anxious and worried, like what's going on? So he's telling you ahead of time, when you wait for one, two, three months, <laughs> And you're not getting a song or an EP or an album. Don't be okay. Maybe you get songs, but an don't album. Get, yeah. Don't be worried. Don't be. Don't be expecting mm. one because it won't come. Yeah, I also feel like the process of taking to do an album, especially with the kind of work and credibility and the input of the first one, you will not want to jump the gun. You want to take your time. So of course, it takes time. It takes effort. It takes a lot of deep thinking and reflection. And there's a lot of money to be made because mm -hmm. Burner Boy from now till the end of the year, even some part of next year, it's, it's going to be one of the most booked artists around. Because, I mean, you'd have to go with the tide of winning a Grammy. What that, what winning a Grammy does is it gets you out there. People want to reckon with you. Brands want to want to advertise with you. They want you to perform at their games. A winning brand, a winning personality in every form is brand already. Brands just put the spotlight on you. So you he'll, know. Be, so he'll be busy. Big. So the time to sit down and... Write an album might not be there. Not be there. It's good. So, let's just know. take time. Let's wing it with the this one we have, and then let's move on to our next turn. Last trend story. Tem says, "My success beyond talent. I can't take all the credit." Love Tem to saying that. Or she says that multiple individuals and forces beyond talent were pivotal to emergence in the global music scene. And of course, speaking on a, on a feature, she's just saying that it was an honor to work with Drake, and that I mean, people can look at her and say, "Oh, I have talent," but there were people who were pivotal in making sure that Tem's 
his attempts and the course, let, let me, the work of art she's put out. I, yeah. Listen, I want to give her a round of applause mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. this is one statement that a lot of celebrities don't make. Nigerian celebrities, uh, musicians don't make. A lot of them want to give you the idea that I did it all and I'm the sole proprietor mm. of my success. It doesn't work out that way. Really. Because even from playing your song on the radio, playing your song on TV, moving to go for media rounds, mm -hmm. all of that shows there are people who organize all of these things. Let's not even forget people who've helped you in the past, but there are people who set aside to organize this thing. And I'm, I'm glad she's saying it so that the young kids will not see it as, I will just blue. No, you've got to put this in this scene. There's huge work marketing. in there and, mm -hmm. and you need a team a strong team that first of all believes in your talent and possibly have the connect because meeting drake is not just walking around in the street of new york and you think you're gonna find drake walking as well no it takes powerful forces like she said it takes that you know mindset of okay. i want to make it and this girl is talented but you must be talented first but talent doesn't always get you there true nice we have to go straight because we've got a lot coming up the girls are coming on board and but we're going to just throw to the fun moment uh and camp and just exciting things that you can get to watch to, even though the competition is ended we're still going to be bringing you amazing highlights, highlights. and yeah. thank you sophie for coming on board it's really thank nice for me. to, to get you. your insights mm -hmm. on the trending story so let's take a break we'll throw to what is happening and we shall and we will be right back.